Can you guess which AI tool brought me to life? <laughs> and that's not all. Wait till you see the next ones. Let's go. Let's be friends, elephant. No, thanks. I don't trust you. Have you seen the king's daughter? Yes, she's so beautiful. James, come and eat before the food gets cold. Okay, Mom. I'll be out in a moment. Why do you work out so hard? I don't work out, but I'm fit. Ha 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 really? Look at your tummy. These are muscles, not fat. This is a precious stone. Now can you guess its name? Well, I guess you don't know the name. <laughs> don't worry, I will tell you the name now. But you have to pay me first, else I won't tell you. <laughs> Just one AI tool made all those videos. Blessing will show you how to use this powerful AI tool. She will also show you other good free AI tools that can generate very good AI videos for you. I used Gruff AI to generate all those videos you guys just watched and I'll be showing us how to use it in today's video and I'll also be showing us other free AI tools you can use to generate good videos and we'll be comparing their results with Gruff AI. To have access to Gruff AI, all you need to do is come to your Google Play Store and download it and then you sign up with your google account or your email account after signing up this is what the interface should look like now grok is free as at the time i'm making this video and there is a limit but they allow you to generate so many videos in a day like more than 20 videos in a day so first of all let's try generating some images with this grok ai so all you need to do is click on this imagine and then it will bring you to this place and you'd have to put in your prompt here so i've already copied my prompt from chat gpt i'll be pasting it here one good thing about it is that it doesn't really take time to generate images and there is no watermark to it and it generates really high quality images the only problem is that it doesn't generate um, 16 by 9 aspect ratio images it only generates images in 9 by 16 so now the images are ready and you can see how beautiful these images are looking like you guys these images are so good so look at this one you can see how beautiful it's looking let's look for another one it's even generated one with gray hair <laughs> like it will just give you different variations and even though I, I said in the prompt with white couch you can see that it even generated another one that is not necessarily white couch it generated a younger man and also generated an older man so that's one good thing with grok it will generate so many images for you and give you so many options to pick from now let's compare these images with the images i generated from other ai tools using the same prompt so these are the images i generated from leonardo ai using the same prompt and the images are also looking so good so in comparison with grok ai what do you guys think so let's go to bing now see the image bing gave us which is very sweet that's why i like using bing to generate my images like bing can give you some very good images and then coming to nano banana that's um, google ai studio this is the image nano banana gave us using the same prompt so compared to these other images that other ai tools gave us you can see that grok ai also did a very good job you can see the image looking so clear so bright and with so many options to choose from so if you are creating videos for youtube shorts or tiktok or instagram then you can generate high quality images with grok ai so now let's use it to animate some images and create some videos out of it one good thing with it is that it animates both 16 by 9 images and 9 by 16 images so it's not like it's um, image generation that it generates only 9 by 16 images. To animate your images, just click on this plus sign here to import the image you want to animate. So for me, it's this girl pounding cassava <laughs> in the village compound. But once you import the images, it will start animating it immediately as you guys can see, even without you giving it a prompt yet. But if you want to give it a prompt, you just type in your prompt here to customize the video. But I'll just allow you to animate this image without giving it a prompt to see what the result will look like. Now, can you guys see this? Like it has animated this image and you can see the girl pounding this cassava in the compound even without a prompt. Okay, this is so good. Now, drop comes with sound. But if you don't want the sound, you just click on this microphone sign here and then you mute it and download your video without sound. Now, we'll try animating this image with other AI tools to see how the results come out to so first of all go to meta ai you can download meta app from your google play store and then sign up with your facebook account or instagram account and after 
after signing up this is what the interface should look like to animate your images with meta just click on this plus sign here it will bring in your image for you and then you will type in a prompt you can type in a prompt like this one that i typed in here i said animate this image lady is pounding cassava you know just a simple prompt now meta is also as fast as grok in generating your videos for you that's in animating your images for you it doesn't take time so you can see meta has animated this image and you can see this looking so good in fact i think meta even gave a better result than grok <laughs> now let's go to digen ai to animate the same video and see what it will look like so i've imported my image into digen and i'll give it this prompt girl pounding cassava and wait for it to generate the video for us so digen has animated this image for us and you guys can see digen's version <laughs> digen seems to be a little bit faster meta seems to be a little bit more realistic and grok remember we didn't even prompt grok and grok was able to detect that this lady should be pounding and then the lady you know was pounding so what do you guys think tell me what you think in the comment section let's animate yet another image using these three apps to see what the results will give us so i want to animate this image of this lady sitting down and the mother sitting by her side without giving grok any prompts to see what video it will generate for us now we see that grok has generated the video for us and the lady is hugging her mother <laughs> without prompting now i'm going to prompt it and put in something like this the girl stands up and walks away crying let's see how it will animate it now can you guys see this you guys this is so good now let's also go to digen animate it in digen and in meta as well and see the results they would give us now i'm in digen and i give it the same prompt lady stands up and walks away let's see what it will deliver can you guys see the difference with digen the lady's head was actually cut off the lady was now taller than the camera <laughs> but with grok you can see that grok actually captured the full length of the lady while she was walking away all right let's go to meta ai to see the result so i still typed in the same prompt girl stands up and walks away meta ai also did the same thing that digen ai did they couldn't capture the full length of the girl if you want to download your videos from meta just click on these three dots here and then click on save and it will save to your device so meta ai is free and unlimited for now so you can animate as many images as you want to animate with meta ai digen is not unlimited but they give you enough credits every day for you to animate so many images as well now let's go to the feature i'm most excited about with grok ai and that is their lip syncing feature all those videos i played at the beginning of this video that actually spoke all of them i generated them with grok and i'm going to show us how i did it and how to do it to get the best results from it so all you need to do is click here to import the image you want to animate and make talk so i'll pick this image of this beautiful lady and then i'll put in this prompt she says in a presentation tone and in nigerian accent just one ai tool made all those videos and then i'll click on go and wait for you to generate the video for us with the lady saying these things just one ai tool made all those videos now can you guys see this now what you will grok is you have to generate your videos in badges you can't generate everything at once because for now it only generates six seconds video at once at a go so if your text is too long it will cut it off it will cut off some parts that's why you see my speech is not long so after generating it just click on this download arrow and download your video and then go ahead and give it the next thing you want it to say still maintaining the base prompt which is she says in a presentation tone and in nigerian accent so that the voice will be consistent if not the voice will not be consistent you guys so i now put in this second prompt she says in a presentation tone and in nigerian accent blessing will show you how to use this powerful ai tool that's the second thing i wanted to say and i'll click on go and it will also generate it for me let's listen blessing will show you how to use this powerful ai tool can you see that okay now i'll put in the third thing i wanted to say which is she will also show you other good ai tools and then i'll pause there do you guys understand that's the trick and then wait for it to generate as well so this is basically how to generate long talking videos using these tools just generate it in badges and after generating everything you can bring them all together in your cap cut or your video editing tool and edit everything together which was exactly what i did so after i generated these videos and edited everything together this was the final result just one ai tool made all those videos blessing will show you how to use this powerful ai tool she will also show you other good free ai tools that can generate very good ai videos for you 
now if you are creating videos for your 3d animated stories this app will be very useful and very helpful for you because you don't need to animate and then go an extra step of having to lip sync you can just do everything here with just your image okay like this example i gave of this woman calling her son to come and eat their breakfast is ready you see i just put in the image and then i type in this prompt she says james come and eat before the food gets cold and then i sent it and it delivered you james, can see come and eat before the food can you see that and then i also imported the image of the boy dressing up in his room and replying the mom what i put in was just he says okay mom i'll be out in a moment then gets down from the bed and goes to the dining okay mom i'll be out in a moment you guys can see that right now one thing we must know about this app is that it's not perfect <laughs> sometimes you give in the prompt and it will not really deliver for example this particular one of the mother calling james i had to do it two times before i got the result look at the first result it gave me Jane. Jane can you imagine what's the meaning of that <laughs> so sometimes you'd have to do it again and again before you get your results and another amazing thing with this app is that it can lip sync multiple characters for you when you have two characters in an image it can lip sync it for you even though sometimes it may not really do it very well all right so this example i put in here i put in this prompt the blue cartoon says in a deep voice i walk out to stay fit the yellow cheek responds in a feminine voice i don't work out but i'm fit now look at the result it gave us hi i work out to stay fit I don't work out, but I'm fit. Now, can you guys see that? It gave a good result. So this particular one actually lip synced very well following my prompt. But when I am putting the next prompt of what I wanted them to say, it didn't really lip sync it well. Because here's the prompt I put in. The blue cartoon says in a deep voice, ha 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 ha, really, look at your tummy. The yellow cheek responds in a feminine voice. These are muscles, not fat. Now look at the results it gave us. Ha 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 ha, really, look at your tummy. These are muscles, not fat. And did you guys see what happened there it didn't really lip sync it very well as well as it did the first one because the blue cartoon actually laughed but the chicken was now the one that says look at your tummy if you follow the lips very well so sometimes when it comes to multiple characters you have to do it again and again before you finally get the a good result from it but i think it actually does a very good job because not many free ai tools actually lip sync multiple characters so for this one being free and then lip syncing multiple characters like this and even giving you the opportunity to try it out again and again before you get what you want is actually a very good one all right another free ai tool that lip syncs multiple characters is one 2.5 so i tried animating this particular image in one 2.5 and this is the prompt i put in one i said the blue cartoon lifts weight and says in a deep voice i walk out every day to stay fit the yellow chick responds in a feminine voice you stress yourself too much i don't work out but i'm fit <laughs> now let me play the result one 2.5 gave us I work out every day to stay fit. You stress yourself too much. I don't work out, but I'm fit. Okay, what do you guys think? You can see it didn't really, it tried, it tried though, but it didn't really lip sync it very well. So these free AI tools are actually not perfect, but for the fact that they are free, it gives us the opportunity to just, you know, explore and keep trying until we get the result we want. Now, one important thing we must know about Grok is that sometimes the voices are not consistent. For example, let's look at this video I made of the tortoise and the elephant having a conversation. I had to do it in three different badges and then brought them together in CapCut and edited them together and look at the result I got. Let's be friends, elephant. No thanks, I don't trust you. But why? I'm a good person. Hmm, if you say so. But can you follow me to the king's palace? No problem, let's go. Have you seen the king's daughter? Yes, she's so beautiful. You can see that the voices are not consistent. The first one, their voices were looking like a child's voice or some kind of cartoon voices. The second one, the voices were now much deeper. The third one, the voices were different. The fourth one, just different, different voices. And that was because when I was prompting it, I didn't really give any specificity as to how the voices should come out. I just said, the tortoise says this and the elephant says this. The tortoise says this and the elephant says this. 
and that was why i had different results from the different clips i generated that was why when i was giving that first example i gave i told you guys that for you to get consistent voices and not different voices you have to describe the voice if you want it to be a female voice and you want it to appear a certain way then you have to describe it and then make sure that for each clip you are generating you are also describing the voices the same way so that i can generate consistent voices and also some videos that grow up generate for you come with background noise so while editing you have to go to reduce noise and click on it to reduce the background noise that comes with the video and another thing i noticed is that sometimes it generates very loud voices for you and sometimes it generates very low voices for you the volume of the voices are not really consistent so while editing your videos after you've generated your voices you may have to adjust the volume of the voices you may have to increase some volumes or reduce some volumes so that there won't be inconsistencies in the volume so i hope you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up share this video with someone and check out one of these videos i have on the screen here i'm sure you'd find one of them helpful as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye